All right. So, uh, so Sean, here is the new work hours uh, calendar. So if we were to, again, just back up a second. So in the old days, you'd click here and you'd click show work hours and it pulled up this kind of old, old looking UI, right? The, I would call it, I guess, the classic UI look and feel. Yeah, very, we, very, very CRM 2011. Y yes, right? yeah, it, very non-color, just wording. Uh, now what we're seeing is, is that nice unified interface sort of looking feel. And we can see here, for example, for Allison Dixon that, you know, hey, here's her working calendar, but eh, not so great, right? I mean, it's, it's nice colors, but 4 a.m., she's not really supposed to be working. And back in the day, if you wanted to go ahead and change it, you'd click a button up here and say change the work hours or, or whatnot. But now I can click here. I can just left click on any of these uh, working ones. And then I can sit there and say either delete and I can delete all the events in the series. But what I could also do is edit. And you can see it's very similar to what you would think of in an Outlook calendar, right? If you have a recurring meeting or event. So I could go ahead and say, Allison, you know what? She doesn't work for to whatever anymore. She's and she's not universal time. Maybe she's now in uh, Hawaii. So good for her. Uh, and then see here, I can look at I got the nice little toggle switches now where I could say that she's working all day or, you know, we're going to look at capacity. So now it, it's just very streamlined, right? I can, Go ahead and, and choose all this here. I can even choose an end date right here. Go ahead and click save. And of course, based on what I'm doing and when she's working, I, it goes and updates things accordingly. So and the it, nice, the, the really nice thing about that is it's using the um, the quick forms so that you can see that pop out rather than the old classic look where there was a lot of confusing navigation that you had to deal with before. Um, this is much cleaner and much easier to, to navigate, I think. Yeah. And then, and what's also nice is now I also have that capability to, if I want to go ahead and say new, I got my non-work, non-working hours versus time off. So maybe, you know, I'm not available on the schedule per se. Uh, so maybe I'm, uh, today from eight to, you know, 12 o'clock, maybe I have internal meetings or maybe there's a, uh, training session I'm going on. So now I can sit there and say I'm not working because I'm doing something else internally versus time off and I'm not in the office. Right. So we Some, have something that could preclude you from being scheduled against an, uh, a work order, service activity, et cetera. It, exactly. And so we can still use that whole concept of the, the calendar templates if we were scheduling multiple resources. So that still hasn't changed. But what, what has changed is everything is just faster, right? So even when I just do this and I look at the calendar templates, I mean, everything is much quicker. I mean, it's, it's going to schedule three people and then put that time in, and that took a fraction of what it used to take. Exactly. So, so the, the efficiency and the speed based on the, on the new architecture and design is is dramatically improved i i don't know i don't think that the the back end tables have but i don't know if there's some additional indexing that has occurred or just the the fact that it's it's come up to the 21st century in terms of 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 that work calendar but mm -hmm. whatever it is it's it's way better yeah i think we're i think we're all in agreement there's a lot of really nice improvements to the work hours calendar in the uh, April 2020 release and uh, can't keep can't wait to to start using it